what's going on guys so today we're going to be setting up a new enclosure for my new tortoises here i'm just going to be rearranging some things and as you can see it's starting to rain so hopefully it doesn't start raining on us but uh let me clean the camera but as you can see this enclosure is kind of messy uh there was a bunch of grass here but all the tortoises ate it so i want to take out that pond because it doesn't work anymore i think there's a hole there and the water drains out really fast so i'm going to take that out i'm going to mulch everything and i got some plants to put in here as well all right and there we go here's all the materials that's going to be the water bowl we're going to put this plant somewhere over there most likely and then we're going to mulch everything i'm going to leave those smaller plants and the grass as well obviously the tree is going to stay here as well but let's check out these new tortoises because i haven't shown you guys yet and right now they're with my hermans but here they are two little aldabras and i'm going to be talking about them later on in the video right now i'm going to try and finish the enclosure as much as i can before it starts raining but look how cute these little guys are all right so the plant is going to go right here and there we go the plant is in now we got to destroy that pond all right now to destroy the old water bowl yeah we can put the new one in so it started raining on us so we had to stop real quick and while the rain clears up i'm going to go to the pet shop and get some food for the tortoises all right and i found these cool snails here and i think i might get some of these look how cool that is red and i'm also gonna get and we're gonna get some of these little catfish that swim upside down because they look pretty cool and let's all let's put all of them inside of this bucket and there we go got a bunch of new little fish for the tank and a bucket full of tortoise food so let's go back home obviously we're still not gonna be able to work because it's still raining a lot and let's put these guys in here so that they could acclimate and while they do that I'm gonna be filling up the tank a little bit more. I just gotta find the bucket. Actually, the level of the water is fine just like this. I already raised it up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna just let these guys acclimate and let's go work on the Aldabra tortoise enclosure again because the weather already cleared up. And there we go. Put in all the mulch and I put in their little water bowl over there, but as you can see, it's starting to rain again. Um, I put some grass over there, but as you can see, they tore it apart. That was a while ago though. Here are the two new additions to Shadows Reptiles. These are two little baby Aldabra tortoises. As you can see, they're, all very, they're already very big for being babies. They're bigger than my Hermes tortoises. Next year, they're gonna be bigger than my Redfoots. And in a couple of years, they're gonna be bigger than even Tank, my biggest Okada tortoise. So this is the male, this is the female. And these guys, look how they run away from you. When they get scared, they don't hide in their shells. They'll run away. So yeah, these guys have been going crazy since the day we got them. And let's go put them back in their enclosures now. And there we go. These guys are back in their enclosure. So we're going to need some name suggestions for these two. Like I said, that's the male. That's the female. And here are the adult Hermes tortoises for reference. These are on the smaller side. And this is a little bit of paint because they painted the house. And they dropped a little bit of paint on her. But that's no big deal. They'll come off. Oh, let's see where the other one is. The other one's here. This is a bigger... Herman's tortoise right here as you can see and all my adult Herman's already laying eggs are bigger than the baby Aldabras which are just a couple years old but yeah these guys super cute you can see she's a female by her tail and here with the Aldabra you can see how much longer the tail is for this guy and for the one over here let's see if she, you can see her tail even though these guys are still very young you can see the tail is much smaller for this little girl now these tortoises have been some of my dream pets for a long time and i was honestly not even thinking about getting them uh, as you guys saw in the thumbnail or not the thumbnail the title it says that these tortoises are a grand and that's true why are you trying to mate with him dude what are you doing this guy he he likes to shoot high but anyways um the aldabras they're pretty pricey these I did not pay a grand for that's what they're worth and I wouldn't have bought any if I if it were for the right like I only bought them because they were very cheap where I got them or not where I got them but who I got them from they contacted me and they just wanted to sell them um I don't know if they watched my videos or not they never told me anything but they got my number somehow they called me they said oh I got two Aldabras that I'm trying to sell went over picked them up and yeah I really just got them because I got them for a good price and I've wanted them so long, you know, it was an offer that I couldn't pass up. And these guys also work as kind of like a little emergency funds because if I, I have people that are interested in them. So if anything happens, 
I could get some money really quick for him um, and a good amount of it as well. Um, so it's kind of like a little investment. Uh, not to breed him, but them themselves are pricey, but I don't want to sell them. The person that I got them from uh, sold me them like if I was going to sell them. They said, oh, I'll give you a low price so that you can make profit on them. But I didn't want to sell them. I'd rather keep them because of how cool they are. And since the day I got them, I've just been sitting out here with them just chilling because look how cool they look. Like, I don't know what it is about them. Um, my friend, Raw Fishing, I don't know if you guys know him. He has a YouTube channel as well, Franklin Sieber. He has a big one. And he told me, oh, I love him. I always sit outside with her and just feed her, watch her do her thing. And I said, like, I have a bunch of tortoises. I'm like, I, I didn't really relate to that. You know, I, I like seeing the tortoises. Like, I come to the Yellowfoot enclosure, but it's not that big a deal. After a couple minutes, maybe like 10 minutes, I go back inside. But these guys, they're, they just have like a different feeling when you're around them. They feel so, uh, they're like dinosaurs. They're just their presence, the way they have their heads high up, like they hold their heads very high and i don't know they're just really cool um they got they're not the personalities they're not very friendly um so hopefully we could get them tamed up over time this one's already a little bit more chill but look she might start running now or he might start running no, never mind he didn't but yeah i'm gonna tame them up tortoises are very easy to tame up um compared to other animals because they're not aggressive you know so i'm not gonna be getting bit they're not gonna be running away well i mean they will but uh they're not gonna be running away too much so uh yeah these guys awesome i love them so much and i'm so glad that i was able to get them but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that i didn't actually pay what i put in the title uh that's just what they're worth i wouldn't if i if i got the offer for four grand which is what they're worth each i would not have taken it because i don't like to or i don't really buy animals as much as i used to uh right now i get a lot of them just rescues you know people message me and they say they need a new home and right now I don't have the space to be buying a bunch of animals. Um, so I'm going to be selling off my Hermans most likely. I sold off a couple other snakes as well. So I've been selling off some of my personal animals and just keeping the rescues and obviously the breeding groups because the breeding groups is what helps me keep the rescue going. And I honestly really like breeding the animals, even though some people are uh, frown upon that. But I personally really like breeding animals and the way that I'm trying to make that a little bit uh, less hated is that I'm going to start getting into more rare species. For example, my critically endangered um, baker eyes, the Tinosaur baker eye, uh, my Indian spotted turtles. Um, hopefully in the future I could get some radiated and other rare species like that so that I could get a little bit of uh, more rare animals in Shadows Reptiles. But yeah, the Aldabras are super cool species. These guys could get up to 500, 600 pounds. Um, I've seen some huge ones. Um, I bought some tortoises, my ivory sulcatas that I got. <clears throat> the guy that had the female had a bunch of adult aldabras. And I'll see if I can find some pictures of them. I have a picture of a Galapagos. I'll probably just put that one up right now. So yeah, that's the Galapagos right there. But the aldabras are pretty similar in size. The Galapagos get a little bit bigger. Aldabras get a little bit, stay a little bit smaller than the Galapagos. Um, but the males could get up to four feet um, shell length. So that's a really big tortoise. They could get up to 500 pounds, 600 pounds sometimes. And I got to refill their water bowl now since I just put it in. Got to get the little brick in here as well. But uh, these guys, I got to tame them up, get them nice and tame so that they're very friendly with us and so we could pet them. The, these guys, when you pet them, they posture up and they'll let you rub their neck. So they're they're really awesome and i'm really happy that i was able to get a couple in the future when i get my own property i'm probably gonna get uh, a couple more maybe like four or five more so that i could get a whole group not sure or i'm sure they'll be breeding if i get more but uh, i don't know if there's something that i really want to breed because i don't know if i'm going to be able to sell such expensive tortoises if the people that follow me would be wanting to get tortoises that are this expensive because i see that uh the more expensive ones that i sell don't really sell as often obviously because they're more expensive but they're i'd say they're definitely worth the money you know there's dogs that cost way more than a aldabra and people buy them and these guys live a lot longer than a dog they'll live up to 800 or 800 80 years they'll live up to between 80 to 120 is what i read online um but yeah look at these these two are awesome and i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get any videos of them eating because they don't like when i'm around I only eat when I'm not around them. I haven't even, I've seen them eat, but every time I get close, they'll just 
run away from me uh i've just been sitting here and he's been pretty chill today to be honest compared to the the first few days that i got him but every animal is like that when you first get them they're uh not as comfortable being around you even if they're animals that were already tamed beforehand just being in a new environment kind of freaks them out um so they're a lot more chill than when they first got here i didn't record anything of me getting them or putting them in here i kind of kept them a secret for a few weeks um but i i've been wanting to make this video so that i could finally start posting them on my instagram and all that uh because i've been really wanting to post them and show them off because i'm really in love with these two uh, what i was saying i'm probably gonna get more adults in the future and if they breed that'd be pretty cool um although uh these guys are vulnerable in their islands they're out uh from the aldabra atoll um from the seychelles i think is what it said i don't really know how to pronounce it um but i'm guessing that's like a chain of islands i'm not really sure on that though i'm not really a geography type of person um i keep a lot of these animals but i don't really know the facts about them from the wild and all that like i know these guys are from somewhere in europe i know that the red foots are from uh, south america the Sulcatas from Africa, the Cuban rock iguana is obviously from Cuba, leopard tortoises are also from Africa, but I can't really tell you anything in specific uh, because I don't really uh, study the animals that much. I just really learn like the basic things like how to care for them and stuff. And in reality, most tortoises, the care is very similar to other species, just the humidity and the temperatures vary between them, but they're all pretty basic. Uh, for me because I've already been taking care of tortoises for such a long time. But yeah, these guys for example are getting very tamed up already And they're such cool little guys. Let's see if I could get them to come to my hands I already fed them today, so they might not be too interested, but earlier today they both ran up to my arm You see they're not skittish anymore. Let's see if I could well maybe a little bit Let's see if I could feed them a couple new worms Like I said, I fed them earlier Oh, and follow my Instagram, Shadows Reptiles. Um, I fed them earlier, so they might not be too interested. There we go. So yeah, now, like, I've never really worked with the iguanas this small before. But honestly, I think it's easier than working with adults. The, or not adults, but like a little bit bigger. I usually get my iguanas already a couple months old so that they're a little bit bigger. I don't really like getting animals too small. It's more risky that way. But um, these guys, I, I think it's been a lot better to get them this size and a little bit bigger. They're already, you get to get a better imprint on them. You know, when they're babies, it's a lot easier to tame them up. Or at least it has been for these two. You don't want any more, dude? All right, let's just leave them in there then. Speaking of babies, this girl is being a little bit loud today, huh? She's always super quiet, and then as soon as I start recording, she starts screaming. I don't know why, I guess maybe it's because she hears my voice. Hey, don't bite me. But yeah, she's she's pretty cool. Uh, they're pretty loud though. Um, having them in the background of the videos gets a little bit annoying. They're my brother's birds, not mine, but it's whatever, you know. She's cool, cool little bird. And the ones outside are the ones that are super loud. She's a little bit more easier to control. You could just release her and she'll stop screaming, but I don't like to release her when she screams because then she thinks that's a good thing. You know, she screams, oh, she gets to go free. But nope, you Watch. scream and you stay inside the cage a little bit longer. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just end off the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been thinking about getting my hair completely cut off, getting a buzz cut and check out Ari right there. She looks beautiful, but yeah, I might get a buzz cut. Let's see how that looks. Oh God, never mind. I look like Johnny. Anyways, I'm just gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the transitions. I was trying to do it for today's video. I thought it might look cool because I like to do them usually out in the outros when I do them, but I decided to make this whole video with transitions. Haven't seen it myself yet. I'm going to see if it comes out good. Hopefully it does. And I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments because I feel like too many transitions would kind of give me a headache. Not sure though. We're going to see uh, tonight when I edit the video. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, leave comments for future suggestions. Subscribe, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.